So my dear perfectionists, I hear you, I see you, I'm a recovering one of you. You always put out good work, um, people can rely on you, you're detail oriented, you can have all these grand plans in your career, but you might not feel 100% ready, so you never pull the trigger. Hi there, Jody Bentley here, actor and branding and career coach for actors. And today in this video, I'm going to share with you a mantra for my perfectionists. So if you are a perfectionist, continue watching this video, please, oh please, even though you probably will want to pause it. If you are not a perfectionist, this video is not for you. <laughs> so my dear perfectionists, I hear you. I see you. I'm a recovering one of you. I can still slide into some of those tendencies, but I've worked through a lot of them and I've come out on the other side. And look, perfectionism is great, right? Let's look at the great side of it. It's great because you always put out good work. Um, people can rely on you. You're detail oriented. You, you know, learn the ins and outs of everything. There's a lot of benefits to being a perfectionist. And on the flip side, it can be terrible, let's just be honest, right? You get into overwhelm really easily because there's too much on your plate or you take too much on. Um, you can take way too long doing self-tapes or do too many takes and you can't decide. Um, you can spend hours writing an email to an agent and still not press send because it doesn't feel good enough. You can have all these grand plans in your career, but you might not feel 100% ready, so you never pull the trigger. So perfectionism can actually stall you out. And you know this, if you're watching this video, you know this, this is very familiar to you. And this has come up a lot as of late um, in my mastermind groups. I, I have a, uh, two different groups with two different women in each group um, that are perfectionists. And it's, it's amazing how their, their journey, even though they're not in the same group, is, is kind of paralleling a little bit. So here's the thing, and here, here's what's come up with them is they're not getting things accomplished every week because they're waiting for things to be perfect, right? It's not perfect, they put it aside, maybe they don't wanna look at it because now they're afraid they might fail at it, so then things aren't getting done. So my biggest um, coaching to them was this, make your ma mantra 80% is enough. 80% is enough. Because if you're a perfectionist, <laughs> it's not 100%, it's 110%, right? And I remember sometimes if I'd be in a group setting or a class setting and a teacher would be like, you guys need to be doing 110%, you're, you know, you're not living up to whatever. And I would always take that on as me and go, I gotta give 110%. And I would do more, try to do more, be more, be more perfect when they're not talking to me. They're talking to the other people who need to do that, who might only be giving 60, 70% and not fully showing up. So you show up. You give more than 100%, which sometimes shoots you in the foot because it's, it has to be perfect before you feel ready or before you fully pull the trigger on moving forward. So 80% is enough. And when my one client did this for one week, she came back and was astounded by how much more joyful she felt, how much lighter she felt, how much more she actually had accomplished that week, how much more opportunity actually came to her that was unexpected that one week because she wasn't obsessed about the perfectionism, being perfect, getting it right, making it sound right, making the self-tape perfect. It was, this is good enough. This is good. I want to press on 80% is enough. So if you feel this resonating with you, I really invite you to make this your mantra. Do it for one week and see how you feel. And if it works, keep it going because 80% is enough. There's so much that you can do. There's so much more that you can accomplish. Stop being the bottleneck in your own career. 80% is enough. All right, post in the comments how you feel about this, what you're thinking, let me know, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.